All right, good morning. 6.36 in the morning, out here in my garage working on Travel Buddy. Let me show you some of the tweaks and mods I did this morning to this Dakota Lithium powered 54 amp hour, 691 watt hours of power. And we'll be testing this today. I'm gonna plug it into that LP Cool 53 quart travel freezer that I had on my recent trip and see how long this sucker lasts. The one thing I had a problem with was these LED meters over here. You can see that. They were reading high volts when I had this Renogy 100 watt solar panel hooked into them. So there was some feedback going on to these meters. And as you may notice, I eliminated the SP ST red lighted switch and just added another QC 3.0 USB switch voltmeter over here. Okay? Don't need it. Don't need a switch in here because it's already got switches on there and the switch is off. There's no current flow. So that's good. But uh, to eliminate the feedback, what I did is I had some of those solar diodes that go in 100 watt solar panels and I didn't know if the <laughs> if it was on the positive side or the negative side where the feedback was coming so I put this meter over here with a diode on the positive side and then this meter over here put a diode on the negative side well it really doesn't matter it's a blocking diode and it keeps current or the circuit current flow going one way so they both worked <laughs> so in my opinion it really doesn't freaking matter where you put the diode as long as there's a diode in the circuit itself keep current flowing properly and not feeding back and causing voltage weirdness. So that's the major mod I did. The second boo-boo stupid thing I did was on these binding posts so you can have higher power stuff. This is four gauge welding cable. I had Mr. Red over here and Mr. Black over here and that was kind of stupid so I just reversed them. So when you shut the lid it sandwiches down nice and doesn't cross and do some weird weird stuff. Just keep it nice and looking good. Uh, the other thing I did was I cut these battery boxes have this little plastic thing right here. This follows into right here under there. This took took it off. I don't need it because I got the cargo ratchet strap holds everything in there nice and tight. And lastly is got vent holes right down here plastic little insert type deals on both sides for airflow and heat dissipation right down here I'm gonna leave this sticker on here I like that sticker so and I got them RTV let me see if I get a light in there put a little shoe goo on there to keep them in place they're in there tight but I just added a little shoe goo in there to keep it um, you know somewhat solid in there but that's that's about it with this dog good little portable unit all right one quick thing I want to show you all is that this 54 amp hour Dakota lithium 12 volt battery actually comes with a 10 amp proprietary Dakota lithium charger this thing is a 10 amp unit like I said it's pretty damn hot when it's plugged in and charging and it comes with little alligator clip mons which I just connect right up here like this on these binding posts but right now as you can see I'm using the DC this is a 5.5 millimeter by 2.1 standard DC power port jack probably good for up to maybe five or six amps of power directly wired into the dual bus for the system here and I'm using a 3 amp charger and this is what I used on the road to charge up the Trojan AGM on the road and this worked out pretty good but uh, and I just plugged into the trucks AC outlet you know in the center console this thing got pretty warm too but I had the air conditioner blowing down on it to keep it cool but this is a dedicated lithium charger for these batteries and I contacted Dakota Lithium I said, hey guys, can I use this 3 amp charger to charge a big battery versus the 10 amp one? They said, oh yeah, this is going to take longer. And uh, they're right. It, um, 
It'll charge you. It just takes, you know, three times as long-ish. That's how you do it. And the voltage is coming up. See there? Nicely. Oh, yeah. Got to show you. My, uh, got to have, these are dedicated cigarette lighter sockets in a, in a cigarette lighter here. Some people screw that up and just grind something. Oh, yeah, I got to plug in your cigarette lighter. Right. <laughs> See there? These are just built a hell of a lot stronger than 12 volt power sockets. Pretty cool. Just lift it up about 20 pounds. That's all she weighs. Get the little freaking covers right here. Good to go. Let's go plug it in in the backyard. All right. Travel Buddy is all charged up. Green light on the little 3 amp lithium battery charger right here. Plugged in here. And as you can see, these meters are about 0.1 low. This one is 0.1 lower than this one here. No big whoop you do But overall, these things are about 0.1 volt low. When I test the post here with my Fluke multimeter, no big deal. Pretty close. And this is the cord I'm going to use to power the LP Cool freezer that came with the unit. 12 volt power plug. I'm going to plug in here. And let's take it out back and see how long she goes on lithium battery power. Woohoo! All right, I'm on my back patio. And this is the 53 quart LP Cool 12 volt refrigerator freezer. It actually has a compressor in it. And I got it hooked up to Travel Buddy here via the cigarette lighter power socket and their core that goes into the power down here. So here I'll show you. See right there, it's plugged in. And you plug in right down there. And I'll show you the inside here. I got some water, some pop in there. And What's really cool about this unit, it's Bluetooth, so I've got the Bluetooth, I'll show you what the settings are. So I've got this baby set at 27 degrees Fahrenheit, as you can see, and that's about good to keep it right around 33 degrees, you know, with the variance in range on these LP cools. But as you can see, the thing's turning there, I guess, that means it's cooling, the compressor's on. And the current temperature inside the box it's saying it's about 28. The battery voltage is reading 13 volts, 100%. And right down here, you see the H, M, and L? Really hard to see the L. But what that is, is your battery cutout. You can, you can have this thing set to turn off power at 12 volts on the high side. Medium is 11.5 and low is 9 volts. And I keep it on low and max cooling. So this is essentially in refrigeration mode, it's not in freezer mode. So this test will be see how long it lasts on just refrigeration mode, not, not duals, because this is a dual zone type deal. We'll see how long it goes. And it is now 7 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday so we'll see we'll see stay tuned we'll see how long this dog lasts on battery power all right out here on the back patio and we are 24 hours into this Dakota lithium runtime test powering this 53 quart LP Cool Fridge Freezer. Opened up a contest and seven people are playing along. And they're going to win an Amazon gift card from me. See how close you know, they come up with the amount of hours this thing can run. And right now, after 24 hours, we're sitting at, as you can see, Will it go for two days? You know, I just got thinking, if, if you're all boondocking, 
all you really need is a 100 watt solar panel, you know, good sunny environment, plug it in, and man, this thing will just go, go, go. <laughs> Weeks. Keep your hot dogs, hamburgers, relish, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, frozen chicken, whatever you want. Make ice. All right, good morning. It is 7 a.m. August 13th, Thursday. And here is the battery shut down. <laughs> I just unplugged it and I put the fridge back on AC a power with the included AC DC adapter. But I was out here at 5 o'clock in the morning and it was still running. It's now 7, so I'll split the difference. It's 6. At 6 o'clock in the morning, it shut down. So 47 hours. 47 hours running this LP Cool at 27 degrees Fahrenheit. And the stuff was still cold in there. So, wow. And the winner of the contest is Dale, who guessed 48 hours. Very cool. Need to charge his dog back up now. All right, so I took the battery box back into the garage and wanted to show you the screws that came with the battery. These are actually M6 by 1.0 threads, and I got some thumb screws and painted one red and installed them on the battery. Found them on Amazon. So you got a lock washer in between the two flats, and here's the 10 amp charger charging this battery back up. Good to go. One stout battery. You get what you pay for with these. And I also want to thank those who participated in the contest and congrats to Dale for winning an Amazon gift card. Take care.